Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD CHF, US dollar, Swiss franc. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, Gold USD, USD JPY, and many more. So let's get started. So this is the four hour chart of USD CHF in front of us right now and if you have watched my previous video then you know it pretty well that not uh, not much things have changed on the USD CHF chart because we can see that after this huge fall okay market is kind of consolidating okay, and there is no proper trend present on the market right now previously market was falling that we cannot deny but right now there is not much movement going on in the market and if you look at the overall trend of the market here then you can see that overall trend is also very much confusing we cannot consider this is a totally uptrend market okay because we do not get any we are not getting any proper picture here for example if you go to the chart of euro usd then you can clearly see on the chart that this market is extremely bearish this market is under the dominance of sellers but if you look at the chart of usd chf then we can easily see that this is uh, this is a, not a, a clean chart this is not a simple chart this is a kind of messy chart okay and if we look at the present portion of the market here then we can see that there was a huge uptrend in the market after that there was a huge downtrend also okay and things are very much confusing here okay we do not have any proper picture or any clear picture present on the us the chf chart so that's why it becomes very difficult to take any decision here whether we should go for a buy or sell okay and you can see that i have still i have got two levels uh, here so first and foremost let's talk about these levels let's try to understand the chart so you can see that this is okay this is our resistance here okay this is our resistance and as you can see whenever market tried to go up it faced selling pressure or resistance at this particular level and still market is facing the same level therefore this is our resistance level on the upside 0 0.9240 0 0.9280 this is our resistance zone on the usd chf chart and whenever market was going up it was facing selling pressure from above at this level therefore we have one clear cut resistance on the chart that is this level 0 0.9240 to 0 0.9280 so as we all know the strategy is simple if market goes up from here and if market faces resistance here then we can easily short the market once market faces resistances resistance okay. but right now you can see that the current market price the current market price is far away from here so therefore this level is not much important right now as long as market goes up okay but right now this uh, level is far away so there is no point of discussing further about this level on the other hand we also have a support here but in comparison to the resistance the support is not that strong let me be very honest here see we have a support in the form of a trend line here so in case market goes down then we, we can hope that 0 0.9050 level may provide or may act as a support for the market because we have a dynamic support in the form of this trend line so my dear friends if you do not have these lines in your uh, lines in your charting platform then i'll request you to draw these lines so that it becomes easier for to understand the market easier for to trade and everything so so one thing is very much clear after drawing these levels that these levels okay whether the resistance level or the support level these two levels are far away from each other or far away from the current market price and right now market is in the middle so what we should do here okay the question arises what we should do right now and if you go to the forex sentiment meter here you'll find a forex sentiment meter on my website avilashazarika.com and under forex 101 section you'll find a forex sentiment meter and see you can see that 24 percent retail traders have taken a short position and 75 percent retail traders have taken long position so 24 percent retail traders are thinking the market will be going up but majority 75 percent traders 
uh, thinking that market will be uh, sorry market will be going up and 24% are thinking market will be going down and as we all know my dear friends 90% retail traders lose money 90% retail traders lose money because they fail to follow the trend of the market when market was falling sharply market was there was a free fall on the market hey, heavy selling going on in the market they have taken long position and this is the main reason why they lose money therefore my dear friends do not follow follow uh, the herd do proper analysis and then only trade otherwise you will also end up losing your capital okay and if you go to the forex volatility calculator here then you can see that this is the forex volatility calculator in the four hours you can only expect a movement of 12 pips in the one hour you can move, expect a movement of 15 14 pips in the 30 minutes you can expect a movement of eight pips so there is not a um, uniformity okay in the volatility also there is not a uniformity going on so things are very much messed up in the usd chf chart here and one more thing that i would like to add here is that i have recently launched a pro trader membership program so where you can be a part of my analysis for just 15 dollars per month and you'll not miss any opportunities on the market again you'll become a member and i'll be sharing my daily analysis my homework on the forex market where i see that we have the opportunity to trade if you want to know more in detail just follow the information and i also have a separate tab here a pro trader you can go there also okay. so we are back to the four hours chart again so things are very much confusing clear okay and if you go for a buy here okay if you go for a buy here then see your stop loss will be here your stop loss is too much huge and if you go for sell also if you go for sell here then your stop loss will be here and this is your take profit target so your risk to reward ratio is also not in your favor so therefore my only mm, suggestion would be if you are a beginner if you have uh, joined trading newly then please avoid okay please avoid usd chf because this chart is not a simple chart things are very complicated things are very much messed up right now therefore you should avoid charts like this there are simpler chart where you can trade easily like you know usd but this chart is not for you right now because as if you have understand my words then you have also understand the logic also that this chart uh, looks very much bad right now messed up right now and if we go to the weekly chart in the weekly chart then you can see that we do have a resistance here okay we do have a resistance here So 0 0.9182. Okay, 0.9182. This is the resistance for the weekly chart. So in case market goes up from here and reverses from this level, then you can short the market. Okay, listen to me carefully. In case market goes up from here, 0 0.9182 level. And if you see market struggling near the resistance and market reverses, then you can short the market. But apart from this trading opportunity, we do not have any proper thing in the chart right now apart from these levels. And these levels, these levels are far away from the current market price. So they are not in a good position to trade. So let's wait. If market goes up from here, you may get a good opportunity to short the market at this line. Okay, and you'll get the line. Remember, you'll get the line from the weekly chart. Weekly chart is important. Okay, they act as a strong support resistance most of the time because they belong to the institutional traders the big players so please draw this line also in your charting platform so that okay if any opportunity arises in the usd chf chart you do not miss it so this is it hopefully you have understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you tomorrow